Today, my lovelies, I'm going to show you how to get 30% off a Bottega handbag. And I'm going to reveal what's inside this beauty. Might surprise some of you, then again, it might not. And also, I'm going to be opening my beautiful new Twilly that I got. It only arrived like half an hour ago, and I got it from my beautiful Picatan 18. For those of you who didn't see that video, I revealed it in my last video, which I will link up here. And it has the gold hardware, and I am in love in the beautiful Ver Crique. So this is going to be opened in just a few minutes. But before we go further, I would love to give a big shout out to the beautiful Leila Sophia. Mwah. Hi Leila, how are you? And thank you so much for commenting in the last video. And today's fragrance of the day, it is a beautiful sunny day in Dublin. So I thought we'd go with Flora Botanica. Now it's by Balenciaga. I know some people just have a thing now against Balenciaga, but I'm going to use up this bottle. That's, you know, but it is beautiful. It is green, it's fresh, it's aromatic. Oh my God, it's punchy. It really is punchy. It's in this stunning, stunning bottle. It's got rose, it's floral, cannabis, warm, spicy, woody, fresh, spicy, and very, very earthy. Look at that piece of art. It's not that expensive. I'll link some down below. The no top notes in this are mint. That's why it's so fresh and earthy. It has mint in it, and you can really, really smash, smell the mint. It's rose, carnation, cannabis, vetiver, and amber. A real beauty and a showstopper. You are not going to go unnoticed while you're wearing this fragrance. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Please. Let's just do the reveal. And do you know what I'm drinking today? This is gorgeous. Have any of you tried this? Kombucha chai. And it's a little bit of fizz in it, but it's actually really delicious and really good for your gut health. As you know, I've had a few health issues. I'm quite healthy anyway, but apart from a few glasses of vino. But uh, this is delicious. And I love ooh, the little bit of fizzy in it. So you don't have to drink your other brands that aren't great for you, but that is actually lovely. Now let's get on to the question on hand. And by the way, before we go any further, look at this top. This is one of those tops you see on TikTok. This yoke is all I can call it now, right? Comment down below, I won't be offended. It's the last time you've probably seen me wearing it. The quality of it is... Oh, crap. It's just really crap. It's like a tissue. It's like... And uh, pardon this, there's nothing wrong with anybody older, but do you know that real frumpy, frumpy kind of shirt blouse? I hate it. It arrived today and it was a sheen haul. I will put, call them out. I will never, ever be buying any clothes off them again. I said I'd get a few fresh tops, you know, for my subscribers so that they won't be looking at the Viv in the same old tops over and over and over again. I should have a few lovely pick-me-up, bright and happy, sunny tops. And then this piece of crap arrived, right? It's got these frilly, Yucky sleeve. Look, just rotten. I just hate it. <laughs> I feel like I'm, okay, I'm not young, but I, I don't need to feel 20 years older. I hate this top, but I'm going to wear it for this video, and I want to leave your funny comments down below what do you think, because it feels like a piece of tissue. Actually, it feels like crepe paper. It's rotten. Do not buy it. Actually, probably none of us should be buying from Sheen anyway. That's what I get. Back to Farfetch for me, that's for sure. Now, this little beauty, why is it a reveal? Because on my hiatus there of my three months, I suppose, you know, my fi fingers got a little bit kind of bored, let's say, fidgety, you know, for want of a better word. And this little baby cropped up and I have mentioned in videos before that I've loved this bag, but I ha I'm not gonna buy it. I never, never, never going to buy it. So anyway, I'm eating my words. <laughs> So here she is, and can you guess, comment down below, comment the colour, comment if it's a new season bag or something else. I haven't have I worn it yet, I've worn it once, down to my parents' house. And here she is, and you might say I might have gone a little bit crazy on the colour green. <laughs> I'm in my green season, you know, 50 shades, not of grey, of green, he was nice though, wasn't he? Jamie Dorn in Fifty Shades. I mean, he's Irish, you know. So I'm allowed to have Fifty Shades of Green because I'm from Ireland and that's what we do here. We like green and lots of it. Look at this beauty. I know you've seen her before, but you know what, guys? I just want to tell you how I got 30% off this bag because I know you've seen it to death. I know it's been reviewed, all of the rest of it. It is smushy. It's what they've said. It is just beautiful. The zip is very smooth. Is it the most practical? Probably not. Oh, look what I have in here. Yeah. Didn't even know that. That's from when I was down in my parents' house. Now, anyway, 
So you all know inside, yeah, it's not the most, but I mean, for summer, come on, if we're walking down, having a little brunch, you know, having a little moment, I'll be wearing something white. It definitely won't be from Shein, that's for sure. It'll be much better quality because this and this, this is laughing at this and this is making a joke at this. Like you can't do that. You have to have quality, it has to follow through. That's what we're about on this channel. Not this piece of crap. Seriously. You think I'm kidding, it's not a joke. <laughs> So anyway, look at her. She is in the Bottega Green and I paid, this beauty is on the website at the moment for 2,100 euros. So convert that to dollars, probably about 2,300 to 400 dollars plus then you have to pay tax on top. Now ladies and gents, do as I've done in the past. Go to Vestiaire, go to Fashion File, type in condition. Never worn with tag, never worn, unused, blah, blah, blah. There are so many people out there, I've said this before, that have way too much money to spend. They go out and buy and then they go, oh God, that's my 150th bag. It's in the back of my wardrobe. I've completely forgotten to use that bag. Never used it in my life. As we all do, we all have favourites that we, you know, kind of rotate over and over again. And that's what happens. They rotate their bag, well, they use their top five, top 10 maybe, and these beauties get left. Well, I snatched this on Vestiaire, never worn brand new for 1400 euro and you can too you just have to be basically have no life and every night you're scrolling at two o'clock in the morning so you see i don't have a husband you probably have a husband you know tapping on your shoulder for stuff and things but that that that's not me <laughs> so i'd be watching this and at any other times i'll be flicking through the websites it's terrible really like it is i, like, I haven't read a book in ages <laughs> I listen to audio. I, I actually do audio. So this bag, 1,400 euro, and it is a reveal, and I bought her when I came home from Paris. I just love her. I can't wear to wear her with a fresh white blouse, not this piece of crap, and she's gonna look so spring summery, and I actually think I'm in this pop of color zone. I'm, I'm actually in the zone for pops of color. Yeah, I think I've just, you know, I've, I've done all the classics and all the rest of it, and I'm just enjoying all this, just having fun, having loads of fun, and just buy what you love, that's what I always say, like really buy what you love, because there's just no point, absolutely buy the classics, buy the investments, buy the ones that are gonna last you, and they're never gonna go out of fashion, but also buy what you love, go with your heart. You know, sometimes we go with our head just a little bit too much, so that's the beauty. Oh, I wanted to tell you about something else as well. When I was looking up the price of this one today, how much it is now, like literally, this is 2,100 on the website, then you can buy this particular bag in any color, black, whatever color, all the colors, with a strap now, right? And like a wristlet for 2,500, if you don't mind. So they're charging you an extra 400 for a strap and a little kind of wrist level. I'll stick in some photographs here. See, if I were you now, I'd just buy this on the websites like Vestiaire or Fashion File. Then I'd go to dress up my purse, who are just brilliant, have everything that you could ever want strap wise. Cause I know, I haven't looked. I bet you, bet you, bet you, bet you 10, I was gonna say 10 grand, but I'm not stupid, so $10. So that's an interesting one, and it is lovely, but I'm not paying an extra 400 euro for it. No, 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 Bottega, I'm just not doing that. Because we know now, we have learned, you know, we have. That's what happens when you're on this channel and you're on these luxury channels and we're all learning from each other. It's deadly. Now, that is that beauty reveal. Now, as you know, I revealed this beauty yesterday. Totally different color greens. So this is more of your, you know, kind of pistachio. It's a vert criquet, which I absolutely love. And on the inside, I went for a pop of color being the orange from Zumoni, the organizer there. Uh, a few of you actually uh, emailed me, or not emailed me, messaged me down below from yesterday's video and said that you had bought a few. Listen, all I can say, I don't earn anything from Zumoni, but I will tell you something. They gift me those, right? But I still have to pay customs and duties and all that kind of stuff when they arrive. But anyway, well worth it, right? But what I will say is they, will keep your bag in pristine, perfect condition for if you ever do want to resell it or hand it down. That's why I do. For this one, it's structure for me personally. And I got this little beauty on Amazon. I have two of them. I actually had this one on here and actually I will be storing this one. I have another one, a second one, and I will store that. It's actually over here. I will store that uh, like so on my shelf. And I will link those down below if you want them as well. Now, before further ado, when you jump off, let's get into this little beauty. She arrived today from Faubourg Saint Honoré in Paris. And I had to get a beautiful twilly for my picotin because I don't know whether I'm going to do the bow or to wrap it around the handle. Because you know if you've got tan on your arms and if I'm going to be carrying this 
this bag and if it's going to be like so and I have tan on, the light colour is going to get ruined and I won't like that. Or if your grubby little hands are constantly, if you're hot, you're hot or things like that. I mean, you can wash your hands so much, but they still get dirty. So I said I'd buy this and again, it's an investment to keep my bag clean, you know, safe. And yeah, we might be just fine it just a little bit, but I, like I still have my Twilly on my Pichette Matisse, wear it on it all the time and absolutely love it. And I have my other one on my Birkin and this is my third one. So here we go. Actually, another girl was on and she has exactly the same bag as this. Another subscriber, hi you honey. And she's exactly the same as this bag. She said she waited a whole year to get this bag and she said, oh my God, I can't believe it, we're twinning. So here we are and she said she got a Twilly and we said, wouldn't it be interesting if we picked the same one? So so she's going to come back to me after today and let me know what her one is like. She hasn't told me yet. So, without further ado, this is a Twilly that I picked for my Pico Pa 18. And I said, oh, look, let's go for a little pop of colour. And what do you notice in there? Can anybody see? Wait till I open her up. Here she is. Yes, she is a beautiful pink. But look on the other side. Look on the other side. Can you see? a vert criquet or it's like a sage green in the pink in there and I just think it is going to be fabulous. Oh here's the little tag so we can pull that off and it is Rayur et MB Rose Blue Vert. So there's red, blue and green in the twilly. It's Rayur et R-A-Y-U-R-E. But that is the colour. So there's blue, there's green, they've got like little kind of palm trees, Hermes Paris written on the end. I just loved the cerise pink here. And then if you turn it over, you've got all the green in here as well. So I think it's gonna be just a beautiful pop of colour on this bag. And there she is. Look at her. Oh my god, it's just perfect absolutely perfect so do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to pop off now i'm going to try my hand of putting this on don't know whether i do the twisty bow or to put it on the i might just do the twisty bow for today and then put it on the handle and come back to you and see how that works out okay so hold on there just a second guys i did it i mean it took me a while it took me about 10 to 15 minutes but that's not bad tiktok i'll stick on the link if you want to see it but watch 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 i think it's great look <laughs> I just learned a new skill. Look how cute the pink and the green is just perfect together. Oh my God, I couldn't be happier. I know, it's the little things. We are ridiculous, we are, I know. Maybe just me, maybe just I'm ridiculous. But look, isn't that the sweetest little thing you have ever seen just to, you know, give her a little bit of pop and prettiness and individuality and personality. Now, the only thing I will say is I tied it on both of these little rings. I think you're only supposed to tie it on one. It doesn't matter. It's the effort that counts. It's the trying and it's the practice that counts. I mean, that's what we tell our children, isn't it? Exactly. So that's it. I hope you like her and until next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate and I love you lots. Loads coming up, so subscribe and like, please. Mwah.